Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. The Netherlands has announced the delivery of YPR-765 armored vehicles to the Ukrainian armed forces, responding to a request from Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. This announcement, made on May 20, 2024, by Dutch Minister of Defense Kaisa Ollengren, came during an online meeting of the Ukraine Defense Contact Group, UDCG, a coalition of over 50 countries committed to supporting Ukraine against the Russian invasion. The YPR-765, an infantry fighting vehicle originally of American design, has seen action in numerous conflicts, including the ongoing Russo-Ukrainian war. It weighs 13.6 tons when fully loaded for combat, and its dimensions are 5.26 meters in length, 2.82 meters in width, and 2.62 meters in height up to the turret roof. The vehicle can carry a crew of three and has space for seven additional soldiers. Its aluminum hull is reinforced with laminated steel armor on the front and sides, providing enhanced protection. The YPR-765's main armament is a 25mm Erlikon KBA B-02 cannon, with 180 rounds ready for immediate use and an additional 144 rounds in reserve. It also features a secondary 7.62 by 51 mm NATO machine gun, equipped with 230 rounds ready and 1,610 rounds in reserve. The vehicle is powered by a Detroit diesel Allison 6V53T engine, generating 267 horsepower at 2,800 rpm, resulting in a specific power of 19.29 horsepower per ton. Its T-times 100-1A transmission and torsion bar suspension system provide an operational range of 490 km and a maximum speed of 61 km per hour. An important enhancement in the YPR-765's being sent to Ukraine is the inclusion of Remote Control Weapon Stations, RCWS. These stations allow the crew to operate the vehicle's weapons from within the safety of the vehicle, significantly increasing the safety of the operators while maintaining effective fire support on the battlefield. Minister Ollengren emphasized the importance of continued support for Ukraine, stating, It is essential that we continue to support Ukraine. Their fight is also ours. For Ukraine, these armored vehicles are crucial. They are agile, capable of quickly transporting troops, and can be used for reconnaissance, offensive, and defensive missions. The remote-controlled armament provides additional security for the gunner. She also highlighted the broader significance of international cooperation in aiding Ukraine, noting, the efforts made in recent times will bear fruit in the coming months. It is crucial that all countries continue to contribute to the collective efforts. By doing so, we effectively support Ukraine and help ensure that the country gains the upper hand in its fight for freedom. The need for air defense remains significant, and we are exploring how we can contribute more to this area in collaboration with other countries. While the specific number of YPR-765 vehicles and their armament details remain undisclosed, the vehicles are expected to arrive in Ukraine shortly. President Zelensky's request for these Dutch armored vehicles underscores their importance to Ukraine's defense strategy. To date, the Netherlands has supplied a total of 207 YPR vehicles of various types to Ukraine, bolstering the country's ability to resist and counter the ongoing Russian aggression. That's all for now, see you later.